this is the cage of the outer bearing um, there's another piece of it there's a bunch of the rollers that were in the they were actually in the cap the hub cap hey there welcome back to the channel well we're on our way to Texas and we decided to uh, stop here in Moab for the night this beautiful boondocking spot Klondike Bluffs Road just before you get to Arches National Park it's free 14 days and it's amazing and we snuck our way back here we're quite a ways off the road but it's beautiful Miss Maggie's loving it But one thing I wanted to show you guys, don't let the batteries go dead in your uh, TPMS, your tire pressure monitoring system. You know, it's on my list of something to fix, but I didn't get to it. I also planned on replacing the bearings on the coach. Didn't get to that either, just ran out of time. But check this out. One of these things is not like the other. So I don't know when this happened, how far out we were it must not have been very long because i didn't get any rattling or anything i assume i would have got a high temperature on the on the on the uh, tpms but i didn't get that either so luckily we got here before dark and i'm gonna jack the trailer up and take it apart and see what the damage is hopefully it's just a bearing and not a spindle or whatever but we'll see Stand by. Woo, awesome. Ooh, that's pretty. Grease anyone? This is awesome. All right, well, <laughs> I guess I jack it up and take it apart. Oh my goodness. That works good. That's what I was trying to avoid. That's okay. <laughs> that works good. That's the first time I've got to use it. Oh, I didn't know it was new. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we might need a hub. But we'll see here. Yeah, you can see where the brake rotor hit the... Right there. Didn't seem to have damaged that. All right, I can't get this brake caliper off. Whatever you do, don't lose the hardware in the sand. Right. One more. So what is a bearing? And why is it important to change them out? Well, the bearing is kind of like it, what it's called. It bears the weight. So, and I've got new ones in the trailer. I'll show you. So there's a bearing, there, that piece right there yeah. is the bearing race. And the bearing rolls in that race. And then it rolls in one on this side. 
and that's what supports the weight of the trailer and allows this to turn without bearings you wouldn't be able to turn because there's so much weight on them it wouldn't roll this bearing just disintegrated that, that's what's missing that's what this piece is that's the rest of the bearing cage that's all that's left so all the bearing parts fell out along the way which is normal it doesn't look like it damaged I mean the brake rotor hit this but it didn't damage it what did get damaged though um, right here this shock mount broke off see it mm -hmm. where it broke off so that's gonna have to be re-welded or I'm gonna have to buy one of these and replace it this is gonna have to roll like it is oh. until we get where we're going yeah that's what I was gonna ask I mean it's no shock absorber but I don't think it's gonna damage anything all the wet bolts look good so what, we don't well, have a suspension problem. We had wet bolt problems. Yeah, two these years wet ago. bolts. Yeah, we had a couple break and I replaced them, but they've been holding up. All right, let's see if I can get this nut off. There's a grease dirt where you grease these silly things, but it looks like it's got grease. Yeah, I think it was over greased by whoever did it last. It wasn't me. I had it done, and that was probably my mistake. Oh. Can't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I thought you... I just hope these threads aren't galled. You did it on the bighorn. I think they just have dirt in them. I did it on bighorn, yeah. Maggie, why are you laying in the dirt? Say hello to the people. Say hello, people. I like to lay in the dirt to make my mother mad. Luckily, I bought a whole set of bearings and seals and everything for this coach because I was going to redo all of them. So I guess I'll redo this one and then... <laughs> When we get to where we're going, I'll redo the rest of them because I don't, I don't have a, a ton of grease with me, so I've got probably enough to do a couple. But there we go. Well, can you check them while we're here somehow? Um, Make sure they're okay. I could. I'm just. I could wondering. take all of them apart, but I don't really want to do it out here in the dirt. No, I don't want you. <laughs> oh. Wow. So. As you can see, let me try to lay this. I'm trying to keep grease off of this mat. Yeah, see where it rubbed right here? So it was grinding for a while. I think when we pulled in, it was grinding. That's what we heard. There's the seal. The seal goes in here. But I'm going to clean all this out. Um, so far, that's got a little, little bend to it. But I think I can probably fix it. It happened shortly before we got here. I didn't hear it, feel it, or anything. We probably would have got a temperature warning on the thing if the batteries weren't bad. It's the inner part of the outer bearing. So that's all that's left, and it's actually broken. So it, catastrophic failure. Um, I think the part of the bearing, yeah, the bearings, part of it's still in here. See, there's one of the rollers out of the bearing. So that's trash, trash. That I have to clean and bend back straight. Okay, here is the backside of part of that bearing. This is the rear bearing, and that actually is still pretty good, but I'm gonna replace it, because it's had junk go through it, so it's probably not very reliable. And then what have we got left? We got the rubber part of the, of the rear seal fell apart. And here's the body of the rear seal, junk, and that should be it. Now we gotta inspect this, gotta inspect this hub and make sure it's not broken. Make sure nothing. Yeah, it's got some scores in it, but it's gonna have to work. It's actually scored a little, but it's not. It's not horrible. Um, these little nicks here, I'm more concerned about, but I'll put a file on them and smooth them off. And. Uh, I'll get this all cleaned up and then uh, we'll put it back together. Are you a desert dog? Are you a desert dog? All right, let's see what this will do. Views are beautiful though. Got a little brake clean here. Never leave home without brake clean. Maggie's over there on safari. She's gotta find herself inside.
I think this might have been over greased because there is grease everywhere. Jeez, man. Full of quartzite dirt. Man, yeah. I'm standing downwind from it. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the rear uh, bearing. It's a Timken number 25580. These are 8K axles, Dexter 8K axles. And this is the front bearing. It's an 02475 Timken. They do not come with races. So when you order these, you have to order races. Um, I don't have any races. The ones in the hub are kind of galled up a little bit. All right. So I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's pretty galled up. Um, it's kind of rough. I'm gonna put some emery cloth on it. See if I can smooth it up a little. But the one I'm most concerned about is this rear one. You can see that spot right there. They're not too bad. I'm gonna hit them with some emery cloth. Put these in, grease them really well, and when I get to where we're going, I'll have to order, I'm gonna order races for every single wheel. I've already got bearings, but I'm gonna order two new bearings and another seal. I'm gonna start from scratch on this one too. them the old-fashioned way just like grandpa used to do why most people are talking you can see him coming up right there oh yeah it's the only way to fly yeah they have those fancy pneumatic bearing greasers and all that which are fine but when you're out in the field like this <laughs> you don't have much of a choice it's pink yeah it's red lithium and something I always just kind of Force it in here too a little bit. Make sure it's packed good and tight. Just do this. On that, on that race. Drop that in there just like that. Okay. Here's the seal. It's a 412920. And National Oil Seals, I got this off of uh, Amazon. Um, I got the Tim Canberries on Amazon too, they were the cheapest, but we'll link it just a straight seal. Um, normally you would put some, a little bit of Loctite on here to kind of hold it in, but this this time I'm just gonna drive it in because I'm gonna replace it again as soon as I get these other parts, so. All right. You said you were doing it like Grandpa used to. Yeah, that's true. The trick of these is getting started straight. I know there's all kinds of there's all kinds of seal installers and all this other fancy stuff but remember I'm in the desert in Moab in the middle of absolutely nowhere we just want to drive the seal until it's flush can you see that then down in there Tina just where it's flush with the outside if you put it in too tight it'll be too tight against the bearing the bearing should have a little slop so the backside's done Yeah, that should have come off before. It was just still stuck on there. So I'm gonna wipe it off before I stick it in there. There we go. Okay. Hope you guys like this kind of content. <laughs> we don't break these things on purpose. <laughs> like that. Dirty dog. Okay. Kind of like that. All right. <laughs> Looks much better, huh? Yeah. This is supposed to be round. <laughs> 
It'll have to work though. I'll have to order a new one. All right. That's how you spell lazy. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, that Oh, goes she there. was bathed, bathed. She had a bath recently. That goes there. Yeah. Okay. Ties that can go. Okay. That'll seat the bearings and then hand tight. Just like that. And then this little thing goes in this flat right here. This little tang goes in there. And that's what keeps your nut from coming off. Okay. There we go. So what's the lesson in this for everybody? Well, the lesson is keep a spare set of bearings with you all the time. Um, I would even recommend carrying more than one set because if you've got more than one axle, there's a chance this could happen to more than one wheel. Have your bearings repacked and inspected once a year if you travel like we do. I know the manufacturers and the RV shops say something different, but um, at least once a year or every six months or before you go out on a summer trip have your bearings repacked if you have your standard chinese factory bearings have them replaced because that's what was in here and they're absolute junk these are timkins they're probably twice the money but it's an investment well worth it if you're going to be traveling a lot or if you don't want to go through this there's some controversy or at least i feel like it's controversy about using these grease zerts on the end because if you pack this full of too much grease you could overheat the bearings and frankly it just doesn't need all that grease in there so if you repack your bearings like i did that's plenty of grease anyway that's my lesson okay cool put that on your checklist before you go out on a trip yeah to look at that stuff. yeah double check those things or take you know take it to your favorite re mechanic and and just have him double check them they you know he know he knows what's what they're supposed to look like and how they're supposed to sound and all that so you know get in with those guys and find an rv um, shop near you, where you live that that you can trust that you like ask your friends and uh you know just don't neglect them because it could have been a whole lot worse and and i didn't neglect mine i mean i i repacked them it's not even been it's it's been about eight months i guess so I, I had this upgrade, this bearing upgrade on my list of things to do, and I've been so busy, I just, you know, it's, it's just an excuse, but I, have, I wasn't able to get to them and do them, and now look where I'm at. So, um, don't put this kind of stuff on the back burner. I'll get off my soapbox now. Your TED Talk? <laughs> I wasn't trying to preach. Welcome yeah, to my TED Talk. My TED Talk. I wasn't trying to preach. <laughs> no, but, but it's real life. But people don't think about stuff like this. I mean, you drive a car for five years and trade it i mean you don't even think about it but a car the newer vehicles the bearings are all sealed and it's a whole different ball game so all right i gotta fix this look at that yeah Let's see if i can get this thing on here it's bungee corded oh yeah Brake pads look good. Well, that's good. <laughs> One advantage is you check for brakes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Hey, hey, look, it's straight. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be, eh? Sound. There we go. See? Oh, wow. Hey, there's some bearing pieces. Looky there. Another piece. Looks like a bunch of them there. It's there. a piece of that inner bearing thing that yeah, broke. Like right there. I see them too where they blow up and they blow the front of this cap out. Really? And everything flies. Yeah. And it just disintegrates everything. 
I don't and know if this... How would you even know it came apart until we stopped? Well, tire pressure monitor would have given you a temperature alert. That's Why? She needs a ball. What? Go we'll grab her a ball, Mama. Ooh, there's more of it. All right, guys. I think I about got it fixed. Got it all put back together. I noticed I got a little grease starting to come out on this one, so that'll be the next one to fix. But like I said before, I'm going to replace all these um, when we get to our destination and all the races and everything. I'm just going to do all six of them. Very blessed and thankful that I'm not on the side of the freeway doing this, but it's all fixed now. Who wants to see the carnage? Let's check it out. There's Maggie. Stop for the cow pies. Cow pies. Okay, we've got a little wind here, but let me uh, kind of show you guys what was left. Okay, so this is the rear bearing. It's It's got some, well, it's not worth using. You can see right there, it's got a little little damage right there i don't know how well you can see that so this bearing's junk but we knew that anyway this is the cage of the outer bearing um, there's another piece of it there's a bunch of the rollers that were in the they were actually in the cap the hub cap um, there's a piece of that so i would say that was complete failure it even cracked right there so that's the that's this part the body part this body part, I don't know what you call it, the inner part of the front race. I'm sorry, the front bearing. And you see it just disintegrated. Here's the seal. Got a, got the metal pan part. Here's the rubber. I mean, it just... And there's another part of that cage, part of this, for the front bearing. So, uh, so yeah, it came apart good. Um, I don't know when it happened. I didn't feel it or hear anything. Of course, you know, with this big truck, I wouldn't have probably have felt it but um, we turned off the road to stop here and when I turned left I saw it in my mirror I saw the wheel was kind of wonky um, I don't think it went very far because everything else was in pretty good shape I was able to reuse everything else it didn't chew the uh, races up too horribly but uh, I'm gonna be replacing those anyway this is just a temporary repair to get us down the road because there's certainly no uh, RV parts places out here as you can see besides you know the mobile RV tech, but um, luckily I had the parts with me. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, we got it fixed. We're ready to hit the road again. We're gonna stay here for the night though. Uh, we pulled in here purposely to stay for the night. Um, it's beautiful here, it's quiet, it's windy, but uh, Maggie's having a ball over there playing ball. <laughs> so we're gonna scare up some dinner here, I think. Luckily we got this fixed before dark and uh, we'll be ready to go again um, if you guys have any uh, experiences with this kind of thing leave them down in the comments I know a lot of you guys have been doing this stuff a lot longer than I have so if there's any other pointers or tips that you want to throw down there put them in the comments I'll put links to these bearings and the races and everything once I find the races I'll put the links in the comments um, so you can go get those on Amazon if you need them. Remember, I have 8K axles, Dextra axles. The parts I'm going to put in the description are going to be for the 8K axles, but I'll put a note on that as well. Well, that's a wrap. They're having way too much fun. Be safe out there, guys. And until next time, safe travels. Bye.